hello my dear children welcome back to my channel happy learning mathematics so today you will be learning your 23rd chapter which is cartesian plane so under here we will be covering two important topics but first what is a what is cartesian plane and the second one you will be learning about the coordinates of the point. So these are the two topics which you will be learning. So this is a very short lesson actually and easiest one as well. So hope you understand this lesson. So before explaining what a Cartesian plane is. I want you to remind you first what is a number line. So you have learned this in grade 6 that a number line is a straight line where the values have been indicated in a fixed uh, gap. Am I right? So if this is the value of 0, this has to be 1, 2, Three and we put an arrow mark in order to show that the values are continuing. So behind this 0, on to your left side of this 0, negative 1, negative 2 will come as well. So here also we are indicating an arrow mark in order to show that this is continuing. So we used to mark the points on this number line. Am I right? In grade 6, you might have marked the point and the value of point A is negative 1. Let's say there is a point in here. So the value of B is positive 2. Do you understand? So 0 is, zero is here. On to both either side of the zeros, the positive and the negative uh, one will be there. Okay. And after that, the number continues. Okay. So, this is what you learned in grade 6. How to draw this number line and where do we use this number line in real life. That means we can see this in a measuring cup, in thermometer, in so many other places we use this number line. So, now, based on this only, we are going to learn about Cartesian plane. Okay. So, Cartesian plane is actually two number lines lying horizontally and vertically together. Okay. So, now I have put the, how will the Cartesian plane look like. So, as you can see, see these are the two number lines. Okay. One lies horizontally where the other one lies vertically. So, this intersecting point of these two is known as O. Okay. So, the O stands for the origin of the uh, Cartesian plane. So, this is O is known as origin of the Cartesian plane. Okay. So, here actually the both the zeros of number lines will lie at this point origin okay so this horizontal one is known as the x axis we used to mark with x and the vertical one we used to mark as y axis so now based on the po origin point we used to mark the location so that points are denoted with two numbers why we do have two number lines here am i right so this is a cartesian plane where we do have two number lines so we used to mark a point with two numbers so they are known as the coordinates of the point coordinates okay for example i am going to mark a point in here we will mark that as A. Okay. So, we used to mark this point which is coordinates with two numbers where 
the first number should be from the x axis and the second number should be from the y axis okay so let's look at this now in your square book you will be able to easily identify it as you can see this is your x axis so the point a lies on number positive 1 am i right so it is positive 1 and this point a belongs to positive 4 so this is the coordinate of point do you understand? Now let us take another point in here. Point B. Okay. Now let us look at the values of it. Right. First we need to check the x axis. So this is negative 2 and y axis it belo belongs to positive 2. So this is negative 2 comma positive 2. That is the B part. Okay, you cannot change the order. If you change the order, if you mark the y first, it is wrong actually. So, always mark the point of x axis first, then after the y axis point. Do you get it? So, what did I teach you? This is the point origin where 0, 0 and these are two axes of the Cartesian plane where x and y and we used to mark the point on this Cartesian plane by comparing with the point O, which is origin, with two numbers, they are known as coordinates. So, coordinates has to be marked in the form of x, comma y. So, if x should be written first and y the second. So, that is what we learned today. So, the next thing you need to consider is, now I am going to mark two coordinates on x axis itself okay i am marking it with red color so as you can see these are the two points i am naming them as uh, c and d okay so let's write the coordinates of the points c and d so for c as you can see we should mark the point of x axis first so, it lies on the x-axis where the point is 1 and the y-axis value will be 0 here. Yeah? So, it is 1 comma 0. The coordinates of point C is 1 and 0. Then for D, it is 2 and 0. Okay. So, if I write another point, let us say E it is going to be 3 and 0. Okay. So, remember the points on x axis will be in this form. x comma 0 format. Y always the y value of y will be 0 as it lies on the x axis. Similarly, I will mark few points on y axis now this is f they are not clear f and let's take this as g okay so let's write the coordinates of f right first you should check the point on x axis which is 0 am i right x axis it is the 0 so, 0, comma, y axis is the value of 3. So, 0, comma, 3. Then, for G, it is 0, comma, 5. So, as you can see in here, the coordinates of the points on y axis will take the format of 0, comma, 1. Okay, did you understand? So, the coordinates of points x on x axis will take the value of x and the value of y will be 0 where the uh, coordinates of uh, points on y axis it takes the other way where the values of x will be 0 
and values of y will differ according to the place where it is. So this is the summary of what we learned today. So this is known as a Cartesian plane where two number lines intersect each other horizontally and vertically. So the point where it intersect is known as origin O where the coordinates of that point is 0 and 0. So these are known as the coordinates of points where it is indicated with two values. First the value from x axis and second the value from y axis. Then we learn points on x axis will be in the format of x comma 0. That means always the value of y will be 0. Where here it is c, d and e. And similarly points on y axis it takes the format of 0 comma y where the value of x will be 0. Here it is f and g it takes the value of 0 for x. Okay, so that's all under this lesson. Now you will be able to do both the exercises from your textbook. So see you in the next video. Have a nice day.